NASA is planning to put a small nuclear fission reactor on the moon to generate electricity for future lunar missions and bases. This is not science fiction. This is science fact. And it could be a game changer for humanity's presence on the moon and beyond. In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about this ambitious and innovative project. We will explain what a nuclear fission reactor is, how it works, and why it is a promising option for power generation on the moon. We will also describe the progress and the challenges of the project and the potential benefits and risks of using a nuclear reactor on the moon. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of this fascinating topic and why it matters for the future of lunar exploration and science. So, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. A nuclear fission reactor is a device that uses the process of nuclear fission to produce heat and electricity. Nuclear fission is the splitting of atoms, usually of uranium, into smaller atoms, releasing a lot of energy and neutrons. These neutrons can then cause more atoms to split, creating a chain reaction that sustains the energy production. A nuclear fission reactor consists of several components, such as the fuel, the moderator, the control rods, the coolant, and the generator. The fuel is the material that undergoes fission, usually enriched uranium. The moderator is the material that slows down the neutrons, making them more likely to cause fission. Control rods are the devices that regulate the rate of the chain reaction by absorbing or releasing neutrons. The coolant is the fluid that transfers the heat from the reactor core to the generator. The generator is the device that converts heat into electricity. A nuclear fission reactor can produce a lot of electricity from a small amount of fuel, and it can operate continuously for a long time without depending on external factors. This makes it a very efficient and reliable power source, especially for remote and harsh environments, such as the moon. That's why the agency created its Fission Surface Power Project. The idea is to develop concepts for a small nuclear fission reactor to generate electricity on the lunar surface. The project just finished its initial phase, which began in 2022 which consisted of three $5 million contracts to commercial partners to develop fission reactor designs. NASA selected Lockheed Martin in Bethesda, MD, Westinghouse of Cranberry, PA, and IX of Houston, TX each for a 12-month Phase I award to further develop preliminary designs. Each partner was tasked to offer a design of the reactor and systems for power conversion, heat rejection, and power management and distribution. The ultimate goal was to create a system that could support lunar bases for a decade. The designs would also serve as pathways to plan and build similar systems on Mars. Now that we know what a nuclear fission reactor is and how it works, let's talk about the Fission Surface Power Project, or FSP for short. This is the name of NASA's initiative to develop concepts for a small nuclear fission reactor to generate electricity on the lunar surface. The project is part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to land the first woman and the next man on the moon in 2024 and establish a sustainable human presence there by the end of the decade. The FSP project has several goals, such as to provide power for lunar bases for a decade or more, with minimal maintenance and resupply, to enable long-term exploration and science activities on the Moon, especially in the polar regions, where there is water ice and permanent darkness, to ensure the safety and security of the reactor, both during launch and operation, to demonstrate the feasibility and performance of the reactor in a realistic lunar environment. Why fission reactors? The advantage of nuclear reactors is that they can operate full-time, regardless of whether there's sunlight or not. That's a big plus for power needs during the 14-night-long lunar night. Note that NASA isn't saying that only nuclear fission generators will be used on the Moon. A combination of solar and nuclear installations will likely supply the electricity needs of habitats and science labs. The specs for the reactor design specify that it be under 6 metric tons and produce 40 kilowatts of power. 
That is enough to demonstrate the capability of the system and provide power for habitats, grids, and science experiments. If you put the same reactor on Earth in a typical neighborhood, it would be enough to power 33 homes. Finally, let's discuss the potential benefits and risks of using a nuclear reactor on the Moon. As we mentioned before, a nuclear reactor is a promising option for power generation on the Moon because it can provide a lot of electricity for a long time and it can operate independently of the sun and the lunar night. This means that a nuclear reactor could enable more and better lunar science and exploration, such as studying the geology, chemistry, and history of the moon and its interactions with the Earth and the sun, searching for and utilizing the lunar resources, such as water ice, minerals, and metals, testing and developing new technologies and capabilities for future missions to Mars and beyond, enhancing the human experience and well-being on the moon by providing more comfort, convenience, and communication. However, a nuclear reactor also comes with some risks and drawbacks, such as the possibility of a nuclear accident or malfunction, which could cause radiation exposure, contamination, or explosion and endanger the crew, the environment, or the mission. The environmental and ethical implications of using nuclear power on the moon, which could affect the natural and cultural heritage of the lunar landscape and the rights and interests of other space actors and stakeholders. The cost and complexity of developing, launching, deploying, and operating a nuclear reactor on the moon, which could require a lot of resources, expertise, and coordination. In this video, we have learned about NASA's plan to put a nuclear reactor on the moon and why it is an important and innovative project. We have explained what a nuclear fission reactor is, how it works, and why it is a promising option for power generation on the moon. We have also described the progress and the challenges of the Fission Surface Power Project and the potential benefits and risks of using a nuclear reactor on the moon. We hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We would love to hear from you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.